Hello and welcome to another Brett Plays video. I'm going to be trying a another prototype aircraft. Uh, obviously a flying wing. We'll see how this goes. I can hear the engine starting up. Sounds like it's got a couple of engines because it's already got one going. So the A12A. I'm going to do quick research while this is starting. A proposed American attack aircraft from McDonnell Douglas and General Dynamics. It was uh, to be an all-weather carrier-based stealth bomber replacing the Grumman A6 intruder uh, in the United States Navy and Marine Corps. So obviously it's a prototype. The US are pretty good at that. They make a fair chunk of them. Very stealthy, I'm guessing. Reminds me uh, a lot of what they did over in Germany back at the end of the war with some of their aircraft. Can't remember the name of those ones. Somebody can put a uh, link in the description down below. So this was uh, Advanced Tactical Aircraft Program in 1983. Uh, was meant to replace the A6 by 1994. And since we don't see these flying around, I'm guessing that they never actually got out in the air. A-12 was promoted as a possible uh, replacement for the uh, F-111 Aardvark. Yep, Australia had a lot of those F-111s. <laughs> A-12 gained a nickname of the Flying Dorito. Yep, I can understand that. Alright. You're going to give me control, thank you. Now, I think I had to clear the uh, windscreen on this one. The, uh, the glass was not... Uh, uh, clear from memory, but uh, if you get it clear, then very good. All right, interior. I think it's taken off another one. I can't remember what that is. I don't think it's the F-18 because it doesn't look crowded enough. Not bad. No, none of the LCDs are working, and I've not even attempted to get the HUD working. Let's have a quick look at uh, the views. So, move the mouse out of the way. Thank you. Oh, we've got the bomb bay doors. So I'm guessing if you open the bomb bay doors, which I haven't got that set up, and no, that's it, okay. Two different views. Wow, there's, there's not much to it, is there? Let's look at the uh, flight controls. Wow, so pull back, push forward, yep. Left and right. Okay, so the rear, the rear, uh, doesn't come up, it's actually a panel in front. That's pretty interesting. Alright. From inside the front, wow, look at this. This is actually quite impressive. And the fact that somebody's modelled it, even better. Alright, lights. Okay, I can see something happening with that one at the front when I press it. But it's not shining out. Okay. Well, oh, let's give this a quick fly then, shall we? See if we can take off. Now, do we have park brake on? Uh, yeah, we did. Okay. Flaps. Oh, one level of flaps. What have we got? I don't see anything different. No. Flaps must be automatically, because I cannot, cannot actually activate anything there. Wow, it gets going. I guess if it's meant to take off from an aircraft carrier, why not? Alright, gear up. Let's see what that looks like. Nice, right, straight up and tuck away. Whoa. Watch what you're doing there, Brett. Now, inside, just looks like any plane, cockpit wise. Whoop. Getting a fair chunk of uh, lift. Well, we've got a lot of speed too out back. trim was uh, mucked up there. Wow, imagine the uh, radar cross feature on this would be uh, next to nothing. I think I can see, let's see if we can zoom that in. Looks like the landing gear is coming on. Oh no, it's actually uh, identification. Right. Okay. Well, we'll see how fast we can go. Up heading a 
fairway north. I'm now on 100% throttle. And I'd say actually this is probably as fast as we are going to go. We definitely don't have the lights working on the side. No, we don't. Now, if this was something that was uh, initially uh, designed in the 80s and 90s, and they did not implement them, I'd say since the success of the B-2 bomber and the like, and the um, idea of what some nations are doing following these type of things for drones, it seems to be making a comeback. How about slow to flight? How are we going to go there? So I'm about 40% throttle now. Okay, I do have lights flashing on the bottom. Right, so I don't have... I don't have the navigation lights on either side. Uh, I must admit, yeah, it looks like a Dorito. Uh, <laughs> but uh, it doesn't seem right without not having a tail there. So what about uh, using uh, the rudder pedals? Oh, wow. Oh, that's interesting. So it opens both up and down, yep, at the same time to push the nose from one side to the other. That's cool. What about air brakes? Thank you. Right, okay, so they're just parts of the uh, the rear flaps that go down. Right, okay. We don't want to uh, go too slow here. I might fall out of the sky. It's almost like a paper plane that's been uh, folded without the uh, bit down the middle as well. Interesting. Let's see if we can go land this thing. It does have plenty of power, but doesn't go very fast. I don't know if that's accurate. Um, I very much doubt whoever made this had access to real flight uh, dynamics. Although they may have put down... There is some information, at least on Wiki, if, if nowhere else, uh, of potentially what type of engines they had and what speed they were capable of. Still we're doing 500 odd knots. It does seem to shake around. We've got an autopilot and I can hold altitude, thank you. Yes I do, but we're actually holding to turn. Alright, will you... 1200, let's go back down to 1000, thank you. Yeah, actually, you can use that. And with that, potentially, look around at the aircraft. Doesn't seem right over Sydney. Let's bring this in. Slows down well. like a big sail like this. Landing gear, thank you. Now, I don't know if those flaps are going to go down automatically. Uh, it may be the way the plane is configured. I've had some planes where it does uh, control the flaps until you modify something in the legacy importer. So, we are coming in... Oh, it's got plenty of lift. Coming in a little fast. It's quite well controlled, that's good. I have had this in my uh, folder for probably a month or two and still haven't got around. Whoa. Oh, it dropped out of the sky there. Oh, that was, that was close. But it does have the power to pick back up, so... Wow. So I almost crashed it. Yeah, you can steer it with, like, rudder pedals, so... Oh, wing strike. But I can't slow it down now. Wow. So, aircraft carrier, hey? Yeah. Let's see if we can enable aircraft carrier takeoff and landing. So I'm just going to pop on the uh, Microsoft Flight Sim Cloud Assist. And
and what we'll do is we'll connect is it going to oh, connect up the uh, launch there we go beep beep okay that's the, okay it does have a uh, tail hook very cool so I've got air brakes on haven't I yep thank you so park brake on is that connected try it yes it is all right that's launch from uh, meant to be simulating a launch from an aircraft carrier I'm gonna go around this Cessna here Palmer's sitting in the sky there so what I'll do is I'll try a tail hook landing as you can see that oh, I can't get under there it does have a tail hook that comes out wow that's pretty cool oh yeah it is animated well there you go whoop and it parks you straight away okay that was my fault for not watching where I was going but look there is ability to take off and land with this on an aircraft carrier uh, for those who have the cloud assist if you don't um, do a quick Google search for it. Cloud Assistant. Uh, cloud, yeah, Cloud Assistant from Microsoft Flight Sim. I think it's now on the. Um, uh, I'm not sure. It's for sale now. It's about five dollars. Not bad. Aircraft itself, though. Um, I don't think I would necessarily use this a lot. But it is a good, pretty good model. It does work well. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. If you want to uh, download it, I will have the link in the description. Cheers. Have a great day. Bye.